The law of heat transfer, traced back to early Greek concepts and later formalized by Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier in the early 19th century, remains a fundamental principle in our understanding of thermal dynamics. In ancient times, thinkers like Aristotle proposed rudimentary ideas about heat as a substance, paving the way for further exploration. However, it wasn't until the Enlightenment era that Sir Isaac Newton and subsequent scholars began quantifying these concepts. Fourier's law, which states that the rate of heat flow through a material is directly proportional to the temperature gradient and the material's thermal conductivity, marked a pivotal moment in the development of thermodynamics and engineering. This principle has since been instrumental in designing efficient heating and cooling systems, selecting material for diverse applications, and driving technological advancements across industries such as electronics and aerospace. Discovering an exception to Fourier's law of heat conduction represents a significant advancement in our understanding of thermal dynamics and material science. This is exactly what has just happened. A team of researchers has just uncovered that this law needs to be modified for certain types of material. Fourier's law of heat conduction, while a foundational principle for describing heat transfer in macroscopic systems, encounters limitations at the nanoscale. At smaller dimensions, such as those found in nanomaterials and nanostructures, quantum effects and boundary scattering significantly influence heat conduction. These phenomena deviate from the assumption of Fourier's law, which assumes a continuous and homogeneous medium. Despite these challenges, Fourier's law remains invaluable in providing a generalized framework for heat transfer analysis at larger scales. By extrapolating from macroscopic observations and applying corrections for nanoscale complexities, such as through models that incorporate phonon interactions and quantum mechanical principles, Fourier's law continues to serve as a useful tool for understanding and predicting heat flow in various engineering and scientific contexts. Its adaptability allows engineers and researchers to bridge the gap between nanoscale intricacies and macroscopic applications, facilitating advancements in material science, electronics and thermal management technologies. This law asserts that the heat flux through a solid material is proportional to the negative temperature gradient, meaning heat flows from regions of higher temperature to lower temperature. The dominance of conduction is particularly evident in solid materials, where atoms or molecules transfer kinetic energy through collisions, leading to the transfer of heat. Conduction occurs in all materials, although the rate varies depending on factors such as thermal conductivity and the presence of defects or impurities that can affect the heat transfer efficiency. While convection and radiation also contribute to heat transfer in different scenarios, Fourier's law focuses specifically on conductive heat transfer within solids, providing a fundamental basis for understanding and predicting thermal behavior in engineering applications, ranging from electronic devices to building materials. In everyday engineering applications, the radiative component of heat transfer within solids is often negligible compared to the conduction and convection. A team of researchers sought to address a fundamental question regarding the applicability of Fourier's law of heat conduction in translucent materials. Specifically, they explored whether this law, which traditionally describes heat transfer solely through conduction in opaque solids, adequately explains heat transfer in materials that allow internal radiation. Their investigation was motivated by the hypothesis that in translucent materials, internal radiation could play a significant role alongside conductive heat transfer, potentially leading to deviations from the predictions of Fourier's law. The researchers conducted experiments focused on observing heat transfer in translucent materials, specifically translucent polymers and inorganic glasses, under controlled conditions. They set up these materials in a vacuum to eliminate convective heating, ensuring that only conductive and radiative heat transfer mechanisms were significant. To induce heat, they heated one side of the material using a laser, which allowed them to create a controlled temperature gradient. Thermal cameras were employed to measure and visualize the distribution and flow of heat within the materials. This experimental setup enabled them to directly observe how heat propagated through the translucent materials and to compare their observations with predictions based on Fourier's law of heat conduction. By systematically varying parameters, such as material composition, thickness, and heat intensity, the researchers aim to uncover any deviations or additional mechanisms beyond traditional conductive heat transfer, particularly focusing on the potential role of internal radiation on enhancing heat transmissions within these materials. 
They discovered that in translucent materials, heat transfer deviates significantly from predictions based solely on Fourier's law of heat conduction. While Fourier's law traditionally describes heat flow through opaque solids via conduction, their experiments revealed that internal radiation plays a crucial role in heat propagation within translucent materials. Unlike opaque materials where internal radiation is negligible, in translucent materials, internal radiation can penetrate deeper into the material and interact with imperfections and inclusions, effectively acting as secondary sources of heat. This finding suggests that in addition to conductive heat transfer, which remains significant, internal radiation enhances overall heat transmission. The observed deviations from Fourier's law underscores the importance of considering multiple heat transfer mechanisms in translucent materials, providing new insights that could lead to improved thermal management strategies and the development of materials with enhanced heat conduction properties for various engineering applications. The findings from the research on heat transfer in translucent materials could have significant practical applications across various fields. Understanding the role of internal radiation alongside conduction opens new avenues for optimized thermal management and material design. In electronics, for example, where efficient heat dissipation is crucial for device performance and longevity, Leveraging the enhanced heat transfer capabilities of translucent materials could lead to more effective cooling solutions. Similarly, in architectural and building materials, incorporating these insights could improve energy efficiency by better controlling heat flow through windows and insulation. Furthermore, advancements in material science and manufacturing processes could benefit from developing new translucent materials engineered to exploit both conductive and radiative heat transfer mechanisms. Overall, these findings not only expand our fundamental understanding of heat transfer, but also offer practical opportunities to innovate in diverse industries aiming for improved thermal performance and sustainability. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.